All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Green Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Hakim doing and pushing his word. And all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Now, um, this uh, video goes into the apostle elders. Um, Salak here. The Apostle Elders um, camp session this week here. And um, there's some a few things they actually said that said, man, I got to make some videos out of that. But, um, yeah, we mad. Men against deception, okay? I think he said the Apostles against Satan. That was another one, too. You know, ass. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Apostles against Satan. Uh, no, 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 yeah. A A. D or A A S, yeah, yeah. So A A A S, yeah, yeah. Apostles against Satan, you know. And then Apostle Elder Gabar, he did, he did say when he said Apostles, I think against uh, deception, okay. A A D, Apostles against deception. But I, well, once I was, you know, in, you know, the spirit had me, you know, I looked at it, said yeah, because they mentioned the mad, and the, the M M. Uh, DD, mothers against drunk drivers, right? And I said, wait, wait, hold up, a, hold up a second. We mad. We we're we're men against deception. Okay, so let me play the clip. Let me play the clip real quick. Here. Oh yeah. Hold up a second. Let me um get this one out too because I gotta go into the NTL. Hey. Yeah. Fucking yep, oh, yeah. But they don't realize true reparation is to put your ass in slavery, man. Yep. That's you want it. the check? We want the checkbook, and we want your fucking ass too. You want it. everything. Everything that comes with it. Apostles against deception. Yes. A A D. A A D, baby. <laughs> Apostles against deception. Right. The the A A D. A A S. Apostles against Satan. Yeah, that's it. A A A A S. Yeah, you, you, the father Ass. Of yep. Ass. Oh man. <laughs> but what Apostle Elder uh, Gabar had said at the end there, um, you know, we're against deception. And Esau Edom, he's the father of deception, man. And it's true. Okay, it is very true. And the way Esau comes, because when you listen to the whole. Um, uh, camp lesson the apostle elders were talking about that as well Esau Edom would set up these conquistador conquistadores pronounce it these conquerors these uh, colonizers and, and give them names like uh, explorer you know make them sound good you know oh this guy was an adventurer he was an explorer he was you know he, no man was a murderer a killer that's what it, pl plainly what it is man you know, an adventurer, an explorer, a sea-bearing man that was, you know, they try to make them look good. They ain't good, okay? So they'll give them those fancy names, those decept deceptive type of names, try to make the so-called white man sound good back then to make his actions justifiable, okay? He is as that whore that wipeth her mouth and say, I've done nothing. I ain't do nothing. What's up with that? Okay, and that, that, as a matter of fact, let me get it real quick. Come on, man. This is how Esau eat them acts. And, hey, Babylon, because when you go into, uh, see if I can find it here. Her sins have reached onto heaven. Reward her as she even she reward you. Don't go under according. How much you, yep, lived deliciously and glorified herself. Right? For she has said in her heart, I said a queen, I am no widow, see no sorrow. This is all she thinks, this is how she behaves, right? And this is the attitude of Esau Edom as well. Let me get the scripture. I just want to um, you know bring that out real quick. But um Proverbs thirty and twenty. Uh Proverbs thirty and twenty. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. This is the attitude of Esau Edom. 
You know? <laughs> yeah, I know it could go both ways, but hey, when they're robbing, pillaging, and doing all that, sending out their so called explorers, this is the same attitude of Esau Edom. Okay? As a wicked, adulterous woman. And cover it through crimes by saying that, oh, these guys were just explorers. They're exploring. This is the way back then. No, no. The Lord said that, you know, He gave each man, you know, their landmarks and whatnot. Okay? But here it is. You've done all that. You come, you oppress the people. You're, you're a continuous tyranny on this fucking earth, man. Not just to us, but to the animals, to the air, to the earth. You're a depressing subject, man. You, 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 you are more than just irksome, man. You need to be destroyed, okay? Because the scriptures clearly tell us that if Yahweh Shai don't return, there would be no flesh to save, okay? But those days are shortened for the elect's sake. If the days weren't shortened, man, this man would be doing, oh, fuck, forget about it, man. And we're sick and tired of this shit, okay? Sick and tired of this shit, man. And if you ain't sick and tired of this shit, you just want to be part of this shit, Salak, yeah, okay? And we, we don't want to be part of this shit. We want out. We in these chains of darkness. We want Yahweh Shai to come give us those uh, glorious bodies, you know? That glorious body just as his is. Okay? Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. This is Esau Edom. Just like that wicked and adulterous whore. If I've done nothing, you robbed up the whole place, sucked people dry, lit figuratively and, <laughs> and literally. <laughs> you wicked, wicked, you know. You're oppressive, man. You you you're no good. Okay, you no good. Let me, you know what? Let me uh go here. Cause I took this other uh Sakharan was doing. He's going into the NLT version, and it just gave me the inspiration to go into the NLT version here too. You know, like I mean, I got it all up here. And I'll, you see the ones right here. NLT, NLT, NLT. We'll get to those. You know. I don't really want to make this too long, because, uh, you know, let's hit the point and get straight to the point, you know. So let's see the Bible comparisons on this. Oh, they only got a little bit? No, nah, something. Those who buy them, slaughter them, but are not punished. Those who sell them, blessed be the Lord, because we have become rich. Even their own shepherds have no compassion for them. That was a CSB. Whose buyers slay them and are not guilty. And their sellers say, blessed Jehovah, you know what they say. And I am rich. And their shepherds have no pity on them. Okay. Oh, we already know. Oh, hold up a second. Let me see something. I think that's why I had the thing off. Comparison again, let's see. Yep, there we go. Haha. -ha. Alright, let's go. NLT. Let me see the NLT. The buyers slaughter their sheep without remorse. <laughs> the sellers say, Praise Yahweh. Now I am rich. Even the shepherds have no compassion for them. Mm. Damn. But, anyways, going back into this. Um. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Right? So you see Esau Edom, he put us in slavery. Joel chapter 3 and 3. You know, a boy for, for a drink. Or well, roughly phrased, let me, let me get it. Instead of trying to quote it, let me just get it real quick. Yep. And they cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they might drink. Right. So these people, they don't care nothing about us. Okay. They have no recompense for us. 
They don't, you know, and these things right here, we see them and we're mad, you know, constantly being oppressed by this dirty ass piece of shit, low down, you know, foul beast, the low garbage of the earth, that nigga, you know, we're being oppressed by him. So, you know, of course we're mad, all right? Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Of course he saw Edom would act like that. Because right now he he on a power trip, okay? Yep, let's get that real quick. And, you know, it's not a, not a right judge around, man. Because this is how his underlings act, right? Uh, Sirach chapter 10. In verse 2, as a judge of him peep, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So he doesn't even pronounce righteous judgment. So the people can act right and behave right. He takes the instruction book and casts it behind him back. So these people they don't have no proper order. They don't have no proper judgment. Okay? Because a wicked ruler is in instead. And we're, we're mad. We're mad about that. All right? Why wouldn't you be mad about that? And then you two-thirds, you want to join hand-in-hand hand with this man. That That's also upsetting. That's irksome. Okay? Because you seem to forget what these people did to us. You seem to forget that they joined hand-in-hand hand to consult, to cast us down. You seem to forget these things. Okay? And that's the problem. That's the problem with our people. You have a forgetful mind state, okay? Instead of thinking, yo, I remember what these people did to us. Let's watch the past. Instead of thinking, you know, we're more smarter than whatever. Like, you know how these people were more smarter than the Lord. Da, 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 da. You just born, okay? You just born the other day. But yeah, you, you think you could outsmart the most high. Or you think you could trick them. Or trick the world. Psalms chapter 94 and verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law. And this is this is funny work. This is iniquity. Okay? Because what? He's stacking sin upon sin. And he's making you stack sin upon sin. Okay? Didn't the scripture say that you're going to fall by his ways because of him? Or any any of such. Let me see if I can find this. Yep. Sirach chapter 18 and verse 15. Travel not by the way with a bold fellow. Least he, be, least he become grievous unto thee. For he will do according to his own will. And thou shalt perish with him through his folly. So yeah, go on and keep following. See how far that takes you. Okay, Keep following his way. Keep following the white man's way. Or the so-called white man. Keep following Esau, Edom's way. Okay? But once again, like I said, you, you two-thirds are irksome. We're mad about the situation that we're in. Okay? And if you, 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 you know, you want to join hand-in-hand hand with him, the man that frameth mischief for the law, and then that law turns against you, stupid, all the shit that this guy did to us, you still want to shake his hand and be and join hand in hand with him. The old joining hand in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Proverbs. Come on, man. We're not playing no damn games. Just like Esau Edom isn't playing games, we are not playing no games. Because we have no time to be playing no games. We know what's about to come up. And in this society, we, we don't like it. Okay? Well, you don't like eating some uh, lamb? We never said we don't like eating no lamb. But if we had a choice, we'd eat lamb with Yahweh Shai and drink wine with Yahweh Shai. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest? To hell with this place, man. This place is garbage. I mean, you know, you ain't mad about this? Something's wrong with you, man. From the from the nose down, uh, from the head down down. The whole head is sick. Something's wrong with you. If you ain't mad about this society, okay. Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. You know. 
surely oppression. Okay? Zechariah 11, 5. This man is oppressive. He'll deal with you oppressively. Okay? You think he give a fuck about you? Fuck about you or your fucking mama? <laughs> All right? He don't give a shit about you. And then I remember uh, El Sakurani went into this, and this was like, I like this one. Let's get into the N NLT version of this one here. NLT, um, Isaiah chapter 14, and verse 6. You struck the people with endless blows of rage and held the nations in your anger grip with on uh with unrelentless relentless relentless relentlessly relentless tyranny okay man said no no holes bar all right that's how Esau Edom is and was and still is okay let's go back to the original version he smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. Okay? Yeah, this man, you know, he was made to be the sword. That's what a lot of you nations don't know too. You know, but I'm pretty sure you're waking up to, to those facts now. Okay? We're angry about that and we're angry about all these unrighteous decrees, man. You know? Woe unto them, Isaiah 10 and 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and thy... And that right grievousness which they have prescribed in LT version what sorrow awaits the unjust judges and those who issue unfair laws Psalm, uh, Psalms 94 and 20 shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee which frameth mischief by a law or with the law or for phrasing okay what next Proverbs oh yeah 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 this one Proverbs 12 and 10 to show you the intent of this man's hatred towards us, man. No, he man will kill animal with with no with no with no breeze, bro. Night, drink a coffee on it, you know, smoke a cigarette and whack them. Okay, that's how this man is. Um, King James version. Let's go to it real quick. Proverbs twelve and ten. A righteous man regard the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. This man is continually in those ways. The tender mercies of him is cruelty? Cheese on breads. And I'll tell you the ungodly, uh, uh, the godly care for their animals, but the wicked are always cruel. <laughs> Don't jump it away from this man. You, you ain't mad yet? You ain't mad? Should be. Because this is a wicked ruler that we have, man. You should be mad. John 8 and 44. You have your father the devil. And the lust of your father you will do. It's cursing all these goddamn wicked ass Israelites. Just like we cursing them all today. You know. You want to walk on the crooked path instead of the righteous path. He was a murderer from the beginning. And abode not in the truth. Because there is no no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. Okay, remember when the Apostle Elder Gabar said, Father of deception? Father of, you know, one of who deceives? He saw Edom and these two-thirds are getting cursed out because they're what? Running after that wicked way. Running after the ways of Esau, Edom. Running after the ways of Cain. Running after the way of Esau. Okay, so this this is how this society. Well, let's just deal with the two thirds for now. This is how two thirds are. They want to run after the wicked so-called white man. They want to run after his ways. They want to run after Esau, Edom's ways. When uh, the scriptures clearly tell you that he's a cursed man. Okay, he's he's not he's not up. The spirit that's in him is not upright. Oh shit! You see that rainbow? Barakta hal, barakta shai ba shem rakako dash. Barakta hal, barakta shai ba shem rakako dash. Barakta hal, barakta hal shai ba shem rakako dash. Wow, 
I wish I could take a picture of it right now, man. That's Yapa. Broke that hole, broke that shot. But anyways, yeah. We're mad about this uh, man being in rulership. You know? And what does he come with? He comes with wickedness. He's the father of lies, man. Okay? His spiritual, his father, his daddy is Satan. Esau eat him, okay? His daddy is, is Satan, all right? He takes his orders from the left-hand side. He's not like us, where we take our orders on the right-hand side. And we are made for righteousness, not for wickedness. Because we have the instruction in front of us, man. Fuck. And we'll, we'll, let's go back to these lies. Let's go back to these lies that this man be telling. You a liar. Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. Okay? They're liars. Liar. Okay? They're liars, man. Ain't nothing good gonna come out of them. All right? They're liars. They're against... What? Verse 2. Yea, in heart you work wickedness. Yea, weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Yeah, Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, who and where is he? And we know who he is. They're estranged from the womb to be like this, man. As a matter of fact, Romans 9, which the apostle elders have gone into, Right here in 21, have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel onto honor and another onto dishonor? Who do you think who do you think is on the dishonor? Not us. It's him. Okay? I think I have this in here. Hold up a second. Sorry, right. I got it in there. Anyways, let me go. Sirac 18 and uh, 3. Who govern the world? You know what? He that liveth for one, he that liveth forever, have created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but He, who governed the world with the palm of His hand, and all things obey His will. For He is the King of all, by His power, dividing holy things among them from profane. And He saw Edom; He's a profane, okay? And these other heathen nations too. You ain't you ain't all together, right? You may have a way. You may have, you know. On, on the shit and bricks of char of the chart, Esau, Edom is the lowest. He's the basis of all. Right. But, you know, he, then it works its way up. Right? <laughs> but you all, you still, all you can't even amount to us. Okay? Um, Proverbs, Proverbs 12. Proverbs 12. 21. 22. 21 22, there shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Right? And he's a mischievous man. And so imagine this. You got a wicked ruler in, in place. He's mischievous. He, he frames mischief by law. He does everything perverse, everything backwards. You're telling me you're not going to be upset? This is a very fucking upsetting place, man. Very irksome. Lion lips are abomination to the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Shai. And on to us, too. We, we hate lying lips. Okay? We hate lies. Come with it straight. But they that but they that deal truly are his delight. Right? So the Lord already, we already know the Lord hates Esau, Edom. And lying lips are abomination to him. And Esau, Edom, he's the father of all lies, man. Okay? He's the father of all deception. All right? So you're telling me this ain't going to make you mad? Of course it's going to make you mad. If the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is within you, you're going to be fucking mad about these type of things. Okay? We want our rulership. This is why it cry aloud, spirit none. All right? Part of that crying aloud is the, it, being in defense of the gospel, seeing this bullshit and, and wanting it to be put to an end. Give him no rest till he establish and make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Isaiah 62. We mad, man. Psalms chapter 50, uh, starting from 16. But unto the wicked, 
God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction, and cast my words behind thee, when thou seest a thief? Then thou consentest with him, wow, <laughs> and has been partakers, partaker with an adult, adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy, thy mo speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Right, Jacob and Esau. Okay. Still up to today. They frame it by law. They talk shit about us. You know, the scriptures clearly tell us that. You know, you see us in, them in court cases. Oh, Karens, all of them. He's got a gun. They want him to get shot. All this stuff. Okay. Speaking against your own mother's uh, uh, son. All right. And that's wicked. These things thou ha these things has thou done. And I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether as and one as thyself, but such and one as thyself. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thy eyes. And right now you're seeing us being set uh, before Esau's eyes. Yahweh Shem is setting us in order before before this uh, you know unrighteous man's eyes, man. Setting us in order. Oh shit! What did I just do it. Just ran my battery low. You know. So Esau, Edom, you can't escape, man. You can't escape from what's about to happen to you. And we're mad. We're 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 fucking fully upset. We're pissed off. Okay. We want Yahweh Shem Shai to destroy this place, man. Put this place to rest. Put it. Put this place to a fucking end, yo. Okay. And you're seeing these type of things happening. You're not mad. Something's wrong with you. Something's up with you. Okay. Bottom line. This guy's a crook and a thief and a murderer, bro. And he's ruling over us. Letting people do all types of nastiness. These people run around having sex with animals, raping little kids. And no judgment going forth for them. They could pay a lawyer and get off. That's not balanced. That's not right judgment. And then on top of that, to go in court and, and, and uh, what's the word, uh, uh, construct a lie. The Lord said that lying lips is an abomination to him. And then that, that causes our people, those who rule my people, cause them to err, err, lead my people, cause them to err. That causes our people to err, man. Let's, let's go into another irksome thing. Yep, first Maccabee. I don't want to be on here too long. Uh made another video it went kind of long but let me just jump straight to point first back be chapter 3 and uh verse 48 and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images okay don't forget the renaissance period you know oh what the the bible destruction group right all these things that doesn't make you mad that doesn't make you uh pissed off that's not irksome to you yep Let's go to Second Maccabees. Second Maccabees chapter Second Maccabees chapter six and verse one. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers, and not to live, and not to live after the laws of God. See, that doesn't make you irksome. Reading about these things and knowing that these things happened before, and guess what? They're going to come again. Verse 6, Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or Asian fast, feast, fast, or to profess himself to be, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. And these days are going to come once again. Because you can already see they hate when we're out there talking about we, we, we are the men of the Lord and this and that. You should follow these ways. They hate that, okay? What's Amos, Amos 5? Let's see, it's Amos 5. Yeah, hate, hate, hate the evil, love the good, but uh, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhorred him that speaketh uprightly. 
And we're the ones speaking uprightly. They abhor us. They hate us. Okay? Amos 5 and 10. They hate us, man. And really and truly, they hate Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because they hate that spirit, the spirit of truth. Okay? Uh, Matthew chapter 16 and verse 17. Just going off of what I was saying. Um, let me get this real quick. And Yahweh answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed this unto you, unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And right, just like this is being revealed unto us, and we're moving in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, because we have the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai rolling through us to say these things and take a stance against this type of shit. Okay? We're not for this world. We don't want this world. This world is garbage, man. Okay? And we have the spirit of the Father within us. That's why, going here, Matthew 10 and 20, for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of the Father which speaketh in you. And he's upset, just like we're upset, just like we're mad about this situation. We still got to go through it, still got to live through it, right? But we're mad, we're hella mad. John, 1 John 4 and 6, we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Because the Lord has given us the spirit of truth to speak the truth. Okay? And we can clearly identify what an error is. Because it's not saying what the Lord, you know, has said. And with the spirit of the Lord, what's happening? A revealing of things. Luke chapter 18 and verse 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be made known and come abroad. And right now, we're seeing a lot of these things that Esau Edom did to us in the past, covering over cities that we had, you know, covering over things, monumental things that we did, covering them up and making himself look like he is God. And he is not God, you know. He is not. He, he's the lowest of the low. Lord said, I'm going to take the bases and put it over you. And he is the basis of the basis of the basis, man. Any person that... Anyways, you know what? Let me just keep on going. But anyways, the Lord has ma made these secrets available for us. But to the world, no. It's not being made available to them. Okay? Isaiah. This is why he has his men out there on the highways and byways tearing down this place. Isaiah chapter 25. Verse 7, he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people, the veil that is spread over all nations. And that's what we're doing but out there speaking, you know, speaking the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And guess what? It's melting this place. It's destroying it, okay? This place is slowly but surely being torn down by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, all right? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a fallen way first. And that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. Esau, Edom, you're being revealed, man. Okay? By our words. By the words and the spirit that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai put in us, man. These words are spirit and truth, man. Okay? Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. Or, remember what he did with us, you know? He put those uh, frescoes or whatever you call it. He knocked the noses off, put up his own images, okay? And try to make himself look like he is God. But he is going against the natural born gods. <laughs> or, that is worship. So that he, as God, sits in this temple of God, showing himself that he is God. But you're no God, okay? Because Yahweh Shem Yahushua is going to take you out. Take you for a dance. <laughs> you ain't going to like this dance. Okay? Now we're angry about these type of things, man. This man's trying to sit up there and play like he's the Most High. Got Adam naked and the Most High naked. Little babies flying around with wings naked. I don't know what the fuck is going on there. Or we do. He's the basis of man. He, he up in everything. Okay, literally and figuratively. But anyways, let's go back into this. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and 8. 
uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. I'm going to end off on these scriptures here. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Right. And you have us out there, the prophets, where he puts the spirit in us to speak and say these things. Right. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Revelation 1 and 7 and many other scriptures. Okay. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Well, guess what? Two thirds of our people, because you join hand in hand with this man, you're going to die. You're going to taste of that second death. Okay? We tried to warn you. We tried to, you know. But you didn't want to get as mad as us. You loved the garlics. You loved the leeks. You loved the onions. You loved all that Esau, Edom had to offer, which was temporal. And here it is, we are trying to offer you eternal life through Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. But you rejected it. Okay? And even that you rejecting it makes us mad, man. So yeah, we're men against deception. We're out here speaking these words, man. Let you know what's up. Okay? Oh, yeah. But they don't realize yeah. fucking man. Yeah, we mad. Oh, yeah. But they don't realize true reparation is to put your ass in slavery, man. Yep. You want it. the check? We want the checkbook, and we want your fucking ass, too. Yep. And the bank. And everything you got. We're angry. Down to the Possibly shoes. I don't give a shit. Deception. A-A-D. <laughs> yep, A-A-D, baby. <laughs> apostles against deception. Right. <laughs> the the A-A-D. A-A-S. Uh, apostles against Satan. Yeah, yes, that's it. A-A-A-S. Yeah, because Esau, you, you, you're the father Ass. of deception. Ass. Oh, man. Father of deception, man. Esau, that, that's 100% true. Esau, Edom, you are the father of deception. John 8 and 44. <laughs> father of lies, man. So we mad. We men against deception. And with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Green Millstone that rule well and are worthy of the double honors. And peace and salutation to all the Akim Duna pushing his word and all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Matthew chapter 13, uh, uh, 24 and 13 to you all. Lord willing, to the next time. Shalom. I hope you're edified. Wah, abad, babal. Shalom.